Square Garden, obviously the crowd is going wild. It's no surprise because he is a gentleman who has had so much success, whether you've seen his work on the Today Show, Inside Edition. He's been a partner with Tony Robbins in the past for giving you the thumbs up that this guy is the genuine article. Here's America's coach, Dan Lear. Dan, you've had a busy uh, week. You just got back from the Home Shopping Network, yeah. uh, one of the top motivators. Thanks for turning back to TSTN. I'm Dan Lear, America's coach, and you're watching your true potential light up, and I get phone calls and emails every single day and say, thanks, you've changed my life, or you changed my son's life, or I feel better, I started a new job, I doubled my income. Today, three strategies that I picked up from some of the top people across the country that you can put into your tool belt to help you do what you do better. Share with what, when you walk into work, it's game time. When you walk into office, it's prime time. When you're on that floor, it's, it's, it's time to play. It's tip-off time. Especially, ladies and gentlemen, when you're in front of your clients, prospects, or your people. You have to turn on the switch. You have to be your very best because they're looking for you for leadership. People like to do business with people that make them feel good. And that's really part of leadership. When you talk about building a team or going through adversity, you've got to have a relationship with your team. That the defining moment in regards to success and failure has nothing to do with your resources. It has to do with how resourceful you are. How do you master your mindset? How do you keep yourself operating at a high level through tough times? I went to someone else and said, hey, hey, how are you doing this morning? And here's what he said to me. He goes, ah, oh, same old blank, different day. I'm like, oh, wow, way to go. <laughs> and they wonder why they're not hitting their goals. They wonder why they're not hitting their quota or attracting people into their lives. You know, there's a saying in life is that you get out of life what you put into it. How many would agree with that, that you get out of life what you put into it? Show of hands. I really believe that. It sounds kind of hokey and kind of corny, but I really believe that. But it's our job as leaders to keep ourselves operating at a high level, to get the most out of the people in our office. People always come up to me and say, hey, Dan, how do you stay so up? I mean, how do you do what you do? And I kind of chuckle about that. I mean, this is what I do for a living. So it makes sense that I have a good attitude. I'm just a normal guy, a regular guy. Because if you see me going through Kmart with my kids, you know, I'm not giving one of these. Yeah, it's Kmart! <laughs> that would be kind of annoying, wouldn't you agree? Coach, and I'll go into companies and work with their executives, their sales team, and help them design game plans and hit their goals and overcome obstacles and work on their attitude, whatever it is. If you take nothing else from today, take this one idea with you, and that is this, that you'll never out-earn or out-motivate or out-manage your own belief systems. You see, your beliefs drive your behavior. You cannot get yourself to do something you don't believe is possible. It's because whatever you focus on, you get. Because, ladies and gentlemen, what you think about determines what you feel. How you feel determines what you do. And what you do determines what you get. So if you're operating at a high level, you're going to do things that you wouldn't do if you're focused on negative things. Does that make sense?